What's up guys, it's Jack, and I'm still looking at all of these wonderful worker kits, and what a fantastic gift this was uh, in the form of care package from them, but as I am waiting on my modular stripes to do some work with the Galil kit, I need something to tide me over to really like whet that appetite, and I figured that since I had a complete blue kit between the Prophecy and the foregrip and the, uh, the rail attachment as well as the stock, and here with the AFG, as well as all of the plungery stuff mixed, I figured I'd make myself a new SCNC kind of loner slash tertiary slash I'll use it occasionally for a video. And in order to do that, we are not going to be utilizing these up here. Instead, we're gonna come in and we're going to use the stock breech that they provide and the bolt sled and I don't know, I'm tempted to use the stock size plunger tube, although I do really like the ginormous plunger tubes. For full length darts and no sealed breech, I think that this is actually a fine amount of power. So, without any more talking about it, let's get into it. I think that we can build this entirely without having to move the rest of the setup. Let's make something sick. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to do a light narration over what's happening right now in time lapse mode. This is not super duper complicated because the Prophecy Kit is really just a retaliator shell. Uh, it's a much nicer, sleeker, more ergonomic retaliator shell with like a better mag release, but what we're doing right here is taking their kind of spring kit and their uh, grease that they included, which is actually very nice grease, even if it is a little stiff at first. Once you heat it up, it starts working really nice and we're creating a plunger unit using their stock sort of breech system there that will work with the regular dart tooth. And again, so many of these parts inside this blaster are like a direct ripoff of the Hasbro variant that it's staggering. But now we're tweaking with that and attaching it to the trans blue bolt sled, which means that the entirety of the internals here are going to be the same color as the shell. Like, that's something that's really difficult to appreciate until it's all together and super consistent, but that is really, really neat in and of itself. Then we're testing it a little bit, and we kind of go back and forth checking our, uh, our crony there. So our first test shot was not super duper promising, but we take it apart and tweak it at least two more times while we're, uh, fooling with this sort of disassembly process for the foregrip and again the fact that the foregrip the barrel attachment just meshes to the body so nicely so cleanly is just absolutely bonkers levels of cool and really lends itself to a final aesthetic that's very very nice now the final adjustments and tweaking here are pretty simple and then all we have to do is come in and add some extra accessories show you that next Alrighty guys, so a few finishing touches and this is it, it is done. So this is my blue prophecy, it's blue Daba D and it is ready to rock and roll. I couldn't resist making the joke guys. Uh, anyway, um, so I've added a few little touches to it. These are of course the uh, worker kind of Magpul ripoff, uh, knockoff, iron sight pop up flip up sight things. I like these a lot. I just think that they're super tactical, super neat. Then I added a quick flash hider up to the front. Now of note, this kit does not leave a lot of exposed barrel here. You could add more barrel if that was your speed. So it is a bit of a tight fit getting that on there, but really really neat now everything is ultra tight everything is so very flush and the rails are internal i really really like that about this kit now the full top rail is boss but uh, it does make it a little harder to get in here for jams now what better magazine to use than the uh light -A blue 15 round i like these a lot i think that they look great with these blue kits it was sitting in cortana in the workshop and now it's out here we're going to fire at our blaster boards target but very happy with this i was getting fps around like 100 to 110 with this uh stock sort of simulated breach but can't even express how neat it is that this has a transparent blue barrel in here that matches everything else like the bolt sled the plunger every bit of this thing is bespoke and and ready to rock and roll so i think that it's really really cool how consistent it is the barrel is this kind of like off red with the orange inside it and it's just very very neat so let me see if i can't dial it in at least we're hitting the blaster boards target each time, but this uh, this is going to become one of my regular SE&C rotation blasters, even though I can't seem to hit the target, and it's going to take me a little bit of time to, to really acclimate to this blaster. Unfortunately, the stock looks like it's collapsible and it is not, but I have nothing but good things to say about this kit. The only downside, my, 
There we go, finally, geez. The only downside is how expensive the kit can be, but the fact that it nests over its breech comfortably and reloads quickly, either in the closed breech position or the open one is very nice. Now, wow, that's a decent amount of power there. Sometimes you just get lucky and it hits right, but a very, very cool kit. Uh, everything about this is sleek, it matches, it's nice. Now, again, downsides are that it is expensive, but other than that, it's an almost toolless installation. You need a Phillips head screwdriver and that's about it. Little itty bitty complaints are that the screws, the silver ones that ship are very, very soft. So, gone, wow. Uh, insane performance out of this thing. Really great looking kit. Uh, love that it's completely blue transparent. Um, I stripped a couple of screws is what I was getting at, but my mind is just jumping all over the place because I finally have this outside and there will be an SCNC war in October where I will be getting some uh, first person footage with it, but spring is good inside the kit. I look forward to adding an Aussie Nerf Turf spring to one of these at some point because I think that that could be very, very cool as well. But overall, just a very tactical, very awesome looking kit that's bespoke for the hobby. And I think that this is the way that a lot of aftermarket parts companies are gonna be moving. Like Explorer's been making custom shells for years and Worker is finally catching up. Like this is really, really great for the hobby because these shells are much nicer than their Hasbro counterparts in terms of what we wanna do with them. So I think that that is really, really special in and of itself. So I'm excited about this. The Prophecy Kit gets a huge thumbs up. As always, a huge thumbs up to my friends over at Monkey Mods for sending this over. So I will link to Monkey Mods. And if you're in the US, I will link to Amazon for where you can buy all of the parts that I utilize to make this kit. Nothing in this kit came out of my workshop with the exception of this specific flash hider and the, uh, the inbus sites here. So really, really cool stuff. Not too much that I can say about it other than just keep rambling and rambling and rambling. Thought about adding blue LEDs, advise against that just because of how tight all the tolerances are. And that's the last thing that I wanna talk about is that this is very clicky, very snappy, very responsive like that is smooth, this is also smooth, just really nice overall. So uh, it is gonna set you back about $200, but fear not friends, uh, if you were already on my Patreon, keep in mind that uh, I got three of these things in and the, the good lords only gave me the two hands. So uh, one of those is definitely gonna be a Patreon blaster in the future and I'll be asking on Patreon kind of what they want the build specs to be for that. So thank you very much for watching. As always, much love, Nerf on, Drek out.